Hello. Hey, what's up everybody? Gosh, that was a John the Potter thing. Oh well, this video is not starting out too well for Marty uh, using his antics. Anyway, my name is Josh Heim. I run and own JH Pottery Works and today we're going to be talking about silica sand and what is it, why we use it, and why it's fantastic for potters. So, uh, first and foremost, silica sand and regular playground sand are not the same thing. So please do not confuse them. Uh, a lot of people think sometimes sand is just sand. Uh, silica sand is mined and it is a high uh, concentration of quartz. And we all know quartz uh, as another term for silica. And so that is uh, what we're using. I purchase it in 50 pound bags from uh, my clay supply store. Now I buy uh, materials from Amico. You can look up uh, in your area, whether you're, you know, West Coast or Midwest or Northern, all that sort of thing. Um, my bet is where you buy clay, they will have silica sand or where you buy your glaze chemistry if you're doing that. But um, 50 pound bag, very inexpensive. Instead of lugging a 50 pound bag around, what I do is I put some in here with a little scoop and that way I can pour um, in the spots that I need it. Um, but why would I use it? So, uh, one of the main purposes I use silica sand are for plates and things like that that have a lot of surface area that are going to be touching the kiln shelf. The reason being is because the thing you have to keep in mind is when this is at uh, peak temperature and this is also at peak temperature, they're both really, really warm. But the problem is they're going to have to cool and depending on how big you make your plates or how small, all that sort of thing, they might cool at different rates. And what's going to happen is you're going to have this shifting as the two pieces of ceramic cool, they might cool at different rates. And what could happen is you could crack your plates, which would really be sucky. Um, so what I do, is, and you can even see a little residual right there. Uh, what I do is I take some sand, put it on my kiln shelf like so, and then take my hand and spread and level it out. You don't need a whole lot. You can see just a, like a quarter of a scoop um, fills up quite a bit of a shelf. Um, and that allows me to then take this and set my plate in here. And now I have thousands upon thousands of basically little bitty ball bearings that as the plate contracts during the cooling stage of the kiln, it can slide, uh, you know, microscopically um, across the silica sand versus trying to contract with a very, very warm shelf underneath it. Uh, that is super helpful. Um, the other area that I will use silica sand for is if I know I'm going to get a lot of glaze drips. So what I can do is make a mug or something like that, and I will make the pile a little bigger. And I did not make this mug, by the way. This is from uh, Jennifer Beachy. She is fantastic. I uh, love her pottery and the dinosaur, of course. Ah, yeah, keeps coffee delicious. Um, I will make the pile of sand a little higher and a little thicker. And then I will set the mug in there ever so slightly. Now, what will happen is the glaze, not on this mug, but on a runny one, the glaze will drip down and hit the sand and bead up and then uh, stay there. The nice thing is uh, when I go to take this off of the kiln shelf, there'll be a little glaze bead right there with a little bit of sand melted to the bottom. That is so much better than let's say if I had a super runny mug and the glaze dripped down and stuck to the shelf, which we've all had happen before, don't lie. Um, it sticks to the shelf and then it pops off or it snaps off the corner of your mug or it takes a chunk out of your kiln shelf, something like that. It really sucks. Um, so that is where you can use silica sand in a second application to help with pottery that you know uh, might have a slightly runny glaze and you don't want it to stick to your shelf. Um, the third application that I use silica sand for is if I am firing uh, a new uh, clay. So, uh, and by that I mean clay that I might have dug up from my property. Uh, what I will do is I will take a broken kiln shelf, um, set 
you know, uh, like a bisque fired bowl that is just kind of junky. I put that on the silica sand as well, and then put my newfound clay that I dug up from the ground, AKA toilet paper tube, um, and do that in the bowl. What that's protecting me from is most clays will handle bisque temperature that are pretty wild. Um, so then once I take it to cone six, I run the risk of it turning into a puddle and melting all over the place. But what'll happen first is if it does melt, this will melt down into my bisque fired bowl. And then I have this protection layer of silica sand just in case it goes somewhere else. So that's a third option. Uh, that you can use silica sand for. It is a fantastically handy uh, material in the studio. It's very inexpensive. You can also work it into clay to use as fine grog. You won't feel it as much as really coarse grog because the, the uh, particles are much, much smaller. Um, and it can give a clay that might be uh, super plasticky and not really good at vertical pieces um, and making them thinner. It'll give you some structural integrity if you wedge a little bit of that into, uh, you know, say you have a really, really soft, you know, stoneware, uh, that sort of thing. Or if you want a little grog and a porcelain clay, that's fine too. Um, it'll handle uh, the temperature. Which, cleanup. What does the sand look like once it comes out of the kiln? It looks exactly like this. This has been fired many, many times. It sweeps up just the same way you put it in. Um, now, the thing to note, don't be an egghead and have a pot underneath there. And when you tilt your kiln shelf, a little bit of sand falls on the pot and then you fire it. Don't be stupid like that. Be mindful of where you put the sand. But cleanup for it is fantastically easy. Um, what I'll often do sometimes is take a sieve and put it on top of my bucket and then pour the sand through the sieve just in case um, there's some you know kiln shelf that flaked off or something like that it's really protectant um, to keeping keeping the purity of this uh, as, as true sand so that's a bit about silica sand um, hit me up with any questions i'm stupidly easy to find on social media jh pottery works we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So check me out, ask me questions. Um, and that's it. Yeah, have a good day.